doing here? Oh, well, hello to you too. Sorry, I was um, in the middle of some accounts. How was your morning, babe? You sound like you're checking up on me. Well, I've spoken to Ross. What's he been saying? Just that he doesn't think you're handling things too well. Says the world's most together man. Says you're not sleeping and you're drinking too much. Anything else? No. What about my eating habits? I mean, is it monitoring them? Just concerned about you, so am I. Look, I may not have a great big smile on my face right now, Michelle, but look, hands not shaking, so as a judge in my office, make one. I can normal person. You would tell me, wouldn't you, if you were struggling? Michelle, I'm not hiding some big depression like Steve, okay? Anyway, come on, why don't we go out for lunch? We've not done that for ages. I've got a lot on. Oh, come on. Go shopping. I'm just dying to escape that pub. And I have seen the most gorgeous pair of boots you are going to love. Okay, you win. I'll pick you up at one. Perfect. Bring you. Someone's come up. No, it's a client. Yeah, they've got their order wrong, so um, I've got to go and sort it out. Listen. I know we will, but we can do it next week, huh? We will. All right, babe, we've got to go. Bye. Carla, what are you doing in here on your own? Well, I'm not on my own, am I? He's not anymore. Steve said you were in the pub earlier. You seemed upset about something. I've been trying to call you. Yeah, well, I, I'm not answering my phone for a reason. What part of that don't you get? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit tired of you. Keep pushing me away. I'm I'm not, I'll go. <gasps> no. No way. You're not going anywhere until you talk to me. Look, I really don't want to fall out with this show, but I haven't got time for this today. I'm busy, OK? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I can see that. Don't start. How many of them have you had? What are you, my mother? No, I'm not, but I'm the closest thing to family you've got round here. Yeah, you're also a stubborn cow. Oh, well, that makes two of us. I really don't want another bus stop. I've already had one today, OK? Who with? Doesn't matter. Who with? Boy. And then after saying she was probably only after Roy for his money. I basically accused him of betraying Hayley's memory. I mean, can you believe that? After everything he's done for me, everything he's been through, just to stand there and listen to me gobbing off, telling him he didn't love his dead wife quite the way I thought he should. I mean, what kind of person says something like that to somebody like him? I don't know. Someone who's confused, lost. Oh, lost. That's one thing I wouldn't mind being right now. Can't even do that anymore. What do you mean? any idea how much I'd like to get out my own head right now. I, I don't mean off my face or drunk on booze. I just mean get out from what's happening in here. But you know what? Nothing does the trick anymore. Not booze, not work. No matter how hard I try, I can't get away from what I've done, so... Look. I know things are tough right now, but you, you can't keep blaming yourself for... For what? Go on, say it, Maddie. Cal. Rob. Roy. I mean, I really could go on, but this is endless. What happened with Maddie and Cal was awful, but it was an accident. Oh, Michelle, you can dress it up how you like. The, the, the fact is that they're dead because of me. What about Roy? That wasn't an accident. You know what? I looked at him. And I saw how much I'd hurt him. And that's when I realised, you know, that's what I do best. I, I hurt people. Oh, no, Carla, you're a good person. Oh, I'm a flaming walking disaster. Sorry, you know I love you like a sister. I 
really do, but look at me. What have I got? Look at me. I've just got this place. This place in a trail of wreckage. Half a dozen people who wish I'd never been born. Doesn't matter what I tell myself or how many bottles of wine I chuck down my throat of an evening, the fact is... The fact is... I don't switch off the light and close my eyes. Because then it's just me. It's just me and everything I wish it wasn't. So what are you going to do? It's just here, I don't know. How are you doing for money? Why are you asking me that? Because I was hoping you'd lend me a tenner. Well? Well, I'm not ready to retire right now, but I'm doing all right, thanks, yeah. Right, well then, why don't you get away, go somewhere? Um, because I've got a meeting in Stockport tomorrow, does that count? I'm serious. Look, you need to get your head straight and you can't do that round oh, here. I can't keep taking off. What about this place? Well, you've got Alia, Sally. No offence, but I'm sure they could manage a week or two without you looking over the shoulders. You need a break, Carla. You can't carry on like this.